Tracking the data sets used for model training is an essential element of a well-documented and, most importantly, reproducible training pipeline. In Neptune, you can easily keep track of data sets associated with your experiments using the Track Files method. In this video, we'll explore the Artifacts tab to inspect the metadata inside a data set, and also compare multiple artifacts at a single time side by side to identify any differences or similarities. In the web app, data versioning and tracking of data sets are visible in the Artifacts tab. Let's head in there now by clicking on Artifacts here. Using the Track Files function in the Neptune API, we can point to a specific remote location. And once you do that, it extracts metadata about files that are placed there. And we can see that we have multiple folders already extracted. Each of the folders have specific files in them. And each file gets some metadata extracted about it without uploading the file itself to Neptune. So here we have the path to the file. We have the date when it was last modified the size of the file, and the hash. The hash is important here because we are using it to compare different artifacts against each other. So we have a hash per file, but also we have this combined hash that identifies the entire artifact. And if the hashes are the same, that means that the file log to this namespace is basically the same file. And right here we can see that we have 26 other experiments that are using the same file which was logged to the same namespace. So if we click on this here, it takes us to the runs table with a filter already applied, showing only the experiments or runs that share the same training data. A cool feature that we have is the ability to compare between multiple artifacts or multiple datasets together. If we head into the compare runs tab here, make sure we are in the artifacts view. We can select IMG 232, by clicking on the eye icon next to its ID. And we'll also do the same for IMG 223. So what we have now is those two artifacts placed next to each other. IMG 232 is our source run on the left, and IMG 223 is our target run on the right. And we see that there are some artifact metadata differences. We see that some of the folders are color-coded. If the folder is red, that means that this file is present on the left side of comparison and is absent on the right side of comparison. There is no match. If it is yellow, that means that some change has been done to the files. And in this case, you see that the last modified date has changed, and the actual path to the file has changed, even though the contents are the same. So this essentially means that the file was moved to a different location. So to recap, we explored the metadata inside a data set placed in a remote location in this case on S3. And finally, we compared two artifacts against each other, which highlighted visually any differences in their metadata in an extremely simple way. If you want to learn more about how to use Neptune, head over to our resource center. This is where you'll find more video tutorials as well as public example projects, case studies, and product updates. So check that out for more detailed information.